Galante wasn't lying. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off my sentence. Now, Joe used to come visit me and, you know, kind of fill me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. Drop your first day out, first day out, make, um, make safe. You feel me? That's how everybody else does. Like, I remember back when I was in the cells. When I was in the cell. Homeboy tried to take my Get out of my face! Boss, it. hell. Oh. Oh. Where's Where's your place, blue bro? Oh, I Joe was up here. I was I said I ever forgot where your place was be at. Vito! Hey, you break out of jail? Ah, jeez. Good to see you in regular clothes and on the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in, come in, come in. Man, I tell you, lots changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, here. Always comes in handy. So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight nah. in there. <laughs> I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot while I was on the inside. I had a much better idea of how things work now. Good thing. Because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes, like always. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. Are we going to talk about homeboy? We'll take my car and go meet your new landlord. You do the driving so you can get back into the swing of things. Just hope you didn't forget how to drive while you was in the can. Hey, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, all right, I get it. You're like an old lady. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. Your new place is just down the street, right near the boardwalk. You're going to love it. Damn, it's good to have you home. I'd done pretty good while you was locked up, but now that you're out, the sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years now. He really felt bad about what happened, you know. So what you been up to? We couldn't really talk about much when you visited me. Well, after the shit Clemente and that little asshole Luca tried to pull on us, I got hooked up with the Falcone family and I started working for them. Really? Yeah, you'll see tonight. I told you, I got a nice surprise plan for you. But don't bother asking, because I ain't going to tell you. Oh, boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for weeks. That's what I'm afraid of. What is this, the Indianapolis Speedway? Take it easy. I'm in a rush. Let me drive in peace, little bro. All right, this is close enough. Park here. Go check the place out. It's on the top floor. I already paid the first month's rent for you. And hey, the entrance to your garage is on that side street over there. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. Hey, and about tonight, we're going to a real classy joint. So buy yourself a nice suit. They won't let you in this place look like an ex-con. My kind of place. Took off the fucking car door. That's just crazy. Check out the apartment. Your apartment's on top floor, bro. I'm stuck on that, bro. He took off my car door. Okay, here we are. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. I live in a similar apartment myself. As you Why can see, so it high? even comes with a telephone at no extra charge. And here's the bathroom. Clean and modern with all the hot water you could ever want.
And here is the master bedroom. And there is the master's bed. It's comfy, with room enough for two. Maybe three. And it doesn't squeak. Always a plus in my book. I sure hope you like your new apartment, sir. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just one question. When are you leaving? Now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see ya. Why is their pants so high, though, bro? Got dressed in a suit. Hey, why do I need a suit? Hey. Came in here Good looking morning. for a suit. What you got? If what you like what you see, let me know. Oh, I was gonna say, well, how much for the browser if I can't see? Will that be all? Yeah, I'm just saying some black stuff. This is it. Can can I walk out here with this? I don't have enough money for this, uh, for what y'all want me to get. You told me to buy a suit. I don't have enough for a suit. I don't have enough for that. Enjoy your per I don't have enough for that. I think you'll find the quality is well worth the price. So how the fuck do you only give me enough for uh you mean bro? So Charles, if you like what you see, let me know. Or am I bugging? Yeah, I'm not bugging. I knew it was like thirty something dollars. How, how do you only give me enough for that, bro? Not even enough for what I need to do the mission with, bro. What's we doing? See you next time. Alright, I had a. I restarted the mission. It turns out Joe did give me enough in order to buy the suit. It's just me being me. I think you'll find the quality is well worth the price. When I repaired repair my car, I wasted um, most of the money that he gave me. My fault, Joe, because I definitely almost snapped Will that be all? I look like I'll, I'll really put somebody down. Give me the suit with the raincoat. Take care and come.
Geez, I thought you was gonna be a no-show. Not bad. Nice material. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. A friend of mine's coming to pick us up. I met him when you was on your little vacation. And show him some respect. He's kind of an important guy. Oh, yeah? You'll see in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Here I How's am. it going? Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, this your buddy? Yeah. This is my pal Vito. Vito, this here is a good friend of mine, Eddie Scop. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Same here, Vito. Okay, fellas. I'm dying for a drink. Let's go. Hey, Vito, you want to drive? I had a couple of drinks already. So, uh, you tell him where we're headed, Joey? Nope. All he knows is that it's a surprise. <laughs> uh, he's gonna love it. I fucking hope I so. Like how this Unless he got into the, uh, funny business in the can. Hey, what are you two talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll see. Hey, come on. We might as well tell him now. Hey, you waited this long. We'll tell him in the car. I don't even know where Joe's at. Where the hell are y'all taking me? All right, let's go, Vito. Hey, you know, it would help if you told me where we're going. Head towards the bed. <laughs> gotta turn off the music. Ass, ass mafia video got copyrighted. Crazy, right? Crazy. Okay, so Vito, what was the one thing you missed the most when you was in a can? Freedom. Yeah, well, but besides that. Nah, you know, uh, booze, broads, baseball, everything. Now you're getting closer. <laughs> what are you guys, taking me to a baseball game? No, oh, we're taking you to the classiest cat house in the city, Vito. Cat house, huh? Wow. Well, you don't sound too excited, Vito. Come on, don't tell me you don't want to have some fun after all that time. Hey, don't worry, Vito. These girls are real professionals. If you forgot how to do it, they'll get you back in shape in no time. <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna have a ball. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, remind me not to drink too much. There's something I gotta take care of later. What's more important than pussy and booze? Ah, uh, you know how it is. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, Vito, come on, step on it, eh? Sometimes, whenever I drive fast, y'all be like, where you get your license from? When I drive too slow, hey, we don't step on it. What y'all want me to do? Y'all want me to drive like a madman and drive like a, a coward? So I talked to Leo Galanti about you, Vito. He said you were a real stand-up guy, and he told me all about the shit that Clementi tried to pull on you guys. But between you and me, why'd you get into that line of work? I mean, we all got our re reasons. Well, uh... Yeah, yeah. Uh, because, uh... Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't want to end up like my old man, and, uh... Oh, no! Yeah. Look, I figure nobody's gonna help me, so I gotta help myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, scram, baby. So, Vito, listen. I work for Carlo Falcone, and uh, we're looking to expand our operation. Joe's been working for us for a while now, and uh, since you're a friend of his, we'd like to extend that offer to you as well. What do you say? Yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, let's drink to it. Here's to you guys. All right. And to a bright future together. Touch and I can't be drinking too much tonight. Uh, I got some business to take care of. You said that twice, man. That's the second time saying it. When am I going to be able to put a bullet in somewhere again? Yeah. Talk about a horse's ass! <laughs> 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 
No, no. Really? Uh, Carlo's a real smart guy. <laughs> He's into, uh, uh, you know, astrology. You mean astronomy? Uh, fuck you, you fucking cum dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Looks like I gotta get going. You shut your goddamn pie hole. If you wanna oh. use your mouth. You fellas ready to go? No. Yeah, let's go. Hey, get up, Joe! Hey, ho, ho, ho. I'm going home. Good night, you whores. Uh, hey, where the hell is my car? Uh, somebody stole it. Hey, hey, call the fucking cops, man. You're staring at it, you lush. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah, good. <laughs> hey, where's my keys? Vito's gonna drive. He's the least fucked up out of all us. Yeah! Next time for us, Joe. More pussy, less poops. <laughs> So, how'd you like the place, Vito? A lot better than playing I just uh, zeech in the showers, huh? <laughs> I'm kidding, man. They might get this video, too. It gotta be done. Shit so crazy, <laughs> <sighs> Oof. What the hell's that stink? Eddie, you puke? What? I wouldn't puke in my own car. What the... What the hell is that smell then? Oh, yeah, I'm smelling it too. Must be Frankie Potts. What? That asshole puked in your car? No, no. All right, we're here. <clears throat> Vito, go pop the trunk. Is that a joke? That's great. That's just great. Yeah. <clears throat> God damn it, new shoes. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> ah, oh, fucking Christ almighty. How long has this guy been in here, Eddie? Uh, just a couple days. You're gonna have to get him out of there, Vito. Oh, it's just great. I can't handle the smell. Some fucking welcome home this is. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> ah. <laughs> hey, mother. Hey, hey, here's a hole. Right here. Dump him in. Finally, done. <sighs> okay. Now who's gonna bury him? What? I, I give me a minute to get a hold of myself. Can you just do it? Every time I get a whiff of the guy, it makes me have to puke. And Eddie's not gonna be any help oh, here. Fine, he... whatever. Hey, fellas. How about a little music, eh? You gotta be kidding me. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to this go. This wasn't supposed to be part of your homecoming party, but it's nice night, out here, ain't it? Well, I ain't been in the woods for a while. Yeah, you won't be liking it so damn much after I smack you with this shovel. You guys kidding me with this?
Oh my god, poor Dino. Pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Roger that. Sorry, Vito. Not exactly the best way to end the night, huh? But thanks. I owe you one, big time. Leave Eddie's <laughs> car here so he can get home in the morning. You're a good man, Vito. I'll settle up with you tomorrow. Hey, you coming in for some drinks? It's three in the morning! Shut the hell up! Hey, shut up, you whore! Come on! We'll yeah, enough, some Eddie. Girls. You're going to bed. I'll get to you Come on. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow, Vito. Good night. Some drunk, drunk bastards. But nothing happened in that. Uh, those, those last couple of missions. Uh, what the fuck? Hey, Vito, rise and shine. Jesus, <laughs> Marty, stop fucking yelling, will you? My head's killing me. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Joey. Stop calling me fucking Joey. What the hell's wrong with you? Vito, come on down! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Where's the closet? Who was that little, that little twink that he with? Who is that? Who the hell was that? Guy's got a voice like Woody fucking Woodpecker. That was Marty. Remember the little kid used to live down the street from me? I had to pick up the truck here, so he gave me a lift. What's going on with the truck? It's gonna make us some nice cash. Hop in. I'll explain on the way. You drive. Where to? Riverside. All right, Riverside it is. Some night, huh? Yeah, you could say that. What? You ain't still mad, are you? Nah, burying a stiff. 
That's the first thing I wanted to do when I got out. What now? Now we take care of our customers. These guys here buying bulk from us. Come with me. Okay, climb up and hand me the goods. Mm -hmm. Hi, one carton of reds. Hand me a carton of reds, Vito. Yeah, that's the one. Here it is. Hey, good to see you. I'm all out of smokes. Give me a cotton of blues. One cotton of blues, Vito. Bro, what is yeah, this? that's the one. How we go from shootouts to in and out cigarettes? That's crazy. Yeah. Only two dollars? Hmm. What the fuck? Hey, Sarge, how you doing? Caught in the blues, as usual? I think I'll take the whites this time. Yeah, that Vito. Let's go. Caught in the whites. Bingo. Thanks, Joe. Now get the hell out of here, will you? Okay, time to go. Get in, Vito. Next stop is Millville. It's going great today. We're making some serious dough here. Something gonna go down. This is it's, it's too calm. What well, I mean, it's gonna go down. Something big is gonna happen, like a huge shootout or oh, something probably dumb. Hey, a cotton of blues, if you please. Give me a cotton of blues. Yeah, that's the one. Here it is, sir. You're welcome. Come again. Hi. I'll take a box of reds. Cotton of reds, Vito. Yeah, that's the one. Hey, hey, wh what happened to it? What are you talking about? Here it is, sir. You're welcome. Come again. What you selling, Mac? You buying or just window shopping? Maybe. We're selling smokes. Two bucks a carton, hundred bucks a crate. I'll make you a deal. You fork over ten cartons and maybe we'll let you and your buddy get out of here in one piece. Hey, look, pal. How about you get back in your cute little car with your little friends there and I'll pretend I never seen you. Sound good? <laughs> you don't get it, do you, you fat motherfucker? This is our turf. And it's gonna cost you to operate here. Now pay up. You're the one who doesn't get it. You have any idea who you're talking to? One last chance. You walk away now and... Yeah, I'll tell you who I'm talking to. A fat two-bit fucking Dago door-to-door -door salesman hawking stolen cigarettes on my turf. And it's time to close up shop, asshole. Okay, boys. I think it's time for a fire sale. Shit. Yo! Oh, fuck. <laughs> what do you say now, Porky? What do I gotta say? That's what I gotta say. Come on, hop in that car and let's go. All right, let's get one of these fucks and teach him a lesson. Oh, bro. Always something, bro. Step on it, Vito. He's getting away. 
I got it floored, Joe. This thing won't go any faster. Definitely won't. Slow ass car. We going. We not catching him. Look at the mini map is over here trying to show us the direction that he going. Damn, we not catching him. Catch him, he, he, he is too fast. Is this is the game time, so it's down or something. Ah, shit. Now what? Shit. Uh, no we should shit check in with Eddie. Him. Stop at the nearest phone booth and call him. Oh, shit. I lost him. Game like I'm what you thought I was actually gonna catch him. What are you doing? Hey, I know how to drive, all right? Oh, shit, I didn't see that one. Uh, what are you trying to kill us? Nah, it wasn't that bad. You're worse than abroad. Oh, he's trying to get me killed. I can't. It costs for. Am I, I hope I read that right, bro. I hope it costs for free day to call me that call. Eddie, it's me, Vito. Listen, we got a problem. We were moving the smokes, and then these uh, these greases came out of nowhere and set the fucking truck on fire. What? You fucking kidding me? You couldn't handle a bunch of grease balls? What the fuck happened? Look, look, Eddie, Eddie. Hey, listen, it's not our fault, okay? They set the fucking truck on fire before we knew what was happening, and everything burned up. All right, we popped one of the guys, but... What do I fucking care? Just bring me my money. I paid two grand for that truck, and I want it back. Lucky for you two retards, I got Derek's guy Steve here with me. And we were just talking about what to do with those punks. We're gonna take care of them now. Steve will meet you at the Crazy Horse. You know it? Okay, Crazy Horse. Yeah, I know where it is. Steve's gonna have a few guys with him. Show him that nobody fucks with us. No shooting, though, so it looks like just another gang fight. I don't want to read about a bloodbath in the papers tomorrow. All right, sure, Eddie. Don't worry. We'll take care of it. Hey, yo, bro. Right, hey, we gotta meet Steve in front of the crazy watch horse. This fucking tone. Good news is he's gonna help us out. Bad hmm. news is Eddie wants his money back. All two grand of it. Shit. You really think we're gonna get two G's out of these guys? I don't know. We'll see what Steve's got in mind. You know he ain't doing this out of the kindness of his heart. Let's go. Yeah, bro. Eddie better watch his tone, bro. They they popped out middle of nowhere, but um. Yeah, but like I said, bro, homeboy gotta watch his tone. Um, that's it for this episode. Like I always say, if you like the content, consider subscribing. Tell your friends about the channel. And I'll got holla at you guys in the next episode.